Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new day. It is Friday, <laughs> yeah, it's Friday, um, it's actually still morning, it's 11.30 but we're having lunch and I ran a couple errands this morning and um, so this is day number four for Eat What You Have and we are still eating what we have. Uh, yesterday's 4th of July dinner we had six brats but we only ate four. So we had two left, so each one of us is getting one for lunch, and I made a box of mac and cheese from the pantry, and we still had some cucumber stuff left, um, so I just, I didn't eat much of mine, but Glenn ate most of his last night, so I just split, and that way we can each have some. Alright, so that's uh, Eat What We Have lunch for day four. Okay, everyone, so here is the morning food pantry that was still open on the 4th of July. So we'll go over this. And again, a reminder that we are allowed up to 25 pounds in our box. So we shop freely as long as we stay within our limits. And uh, so I actually, for the last two weeks, had just been... Uh, stocking up on this canned good stuff because um, I know we don't really have cream of mushroom um, so these are the things that we use quite often and so all right so let's go over this I got a jar of this is a 14 ounce jar of pizza sauce and I'm gonna be quite honest I, I kind of regret getting this because well maybe not <laughs> Um, we don't usually make our own pizza at home. Um, so, and when we do, it's not worth it for us to open up a jar of pizza sauce because then the rest doesn't get used. I know you can freeze it, um, but what I found is this pizza sauce goes bad fast. Uh, even refrigerated, it goes bad fast. You have to use it right away. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to hold on to that. If we decide to make our own pizza, um, I'll do that. If I find that I'm not going to use it, I'll ask Leah next time if she'll take it back. And uh, that way somebody else can have it. Okay, so yeah. And then I did pick up a jar of chunky roasted garlic, roasted garlic spaghetti sauce. Um, we don't have a whole lot of spaghetti sauce, so I just decided to pick one up. And for snacks, uh, Glenn really likes these type of snacks. They're fruit snacks. They're little uh, uh, fruit gummies. So I, I picked up a couple boxes for him. And he goes through those really quick. <laughs> I did pick up some oatmeal. Um, I kind of miss having oatmeal sometimes and uh, like oatmeal and cream of wheat and I also like to use it to make some oatmeal raisin cookies which I would like to make soon so I got a one pound two ounce container of quick oats and then uh, frosted flakes got some of that this is the 20 28 percent more free box pretty tall box so we like frosted flakes and then I picked up a couple more tuna pouches. Uh, these are the albacore white tuna. So the last pouch you saw me uh, have on video there was not too bad at all. Uh, so I picked up a couple more pouches for some quick lunches. And then going over our canned good items. All right, so I picked up some peas for Glenn. This is the Meyer brand. Now, so far, uh, really haven't been disappointed with Meyer brand uh, canned goods and some of their other stuff too. So I thought Glenn would like to try the Meyer brand peas. Normally, he likes to have Green Giant, and not every store sells Green Giant uh, sweet peas. And uh, Kroger slash Pick and Save is the only one. So, and I haven't been there to get any, and he's pretty much out of peas. I think he's got one more can left, and he does eat peas quite often, so I figure i pick him up a can. Got two cans of Libby's Whole Kernel Sweet Corn. So, Libby's is pretty good. 
Um, but I'm really not particular uh, when it comes to canned corn. I'm not really particular of the brand name. That's just what the pantry had. Um, so got some Bush's baked beans. Uh, we eat baked beans like when we have brats or hamburgers. And then got Bush's medium chili sauce chili beans. So I, I like chili beans more in my chili than Glenn does. So I like to get like either mild or medium. So, and then two cans of cream of mushroom. I use cream of mushroom in like a lot of uh, casseroles and things like that. So, and I know, I don't even know if we have any. So that's why I picked up two cans. And also, one can of tomato soup, one can of cream of chicken. Now, I know um, I probably don't use cream of chicken as much as cream of mushroom. So, I, you know, I just picked up one can of that and one can of tomato soup. And as far as broth, I picked up one and one, one chicken and one beef. And then for fruits, oops, sorry. Uh, for fruits, I got this uh, sliced pears and heavy syrup. And we like to just have these as side dishes with some of our meals. And I got this can of mandarin oranges. What I got that for is I thought to make like a, a orange type fluff. So I figured I'd get a can of that for when I do want to make that. So I've never made it before, but I know I like it. We have this... Uh, a uh, fish market in town that sells fluff when you buy a uh, fish dinner or something you can buy fluff as well and I love their fluff but if I could make it myself that that would be great because I don't really like their fish <laughs> Glenn likes to get a uh, fish dinner from there more than I do I like Culver's fish dinner more than he does so <laughs> again we we are in two separate uh, places there <laughs> All right, everyone, so I have some friend mail to share with you. And this first, there's two of them uh, from two different folks. So this first one comes from Lily. Lily, thank you so much. I love this. Uh, she sent me a hummingbird wind chime. So there's the bell at the bottom. And look at that beautiful hummingbird. Now, it has this, like, green uh, ball in the middle in those wires. And I actually thought it was a feeder uh, because there's a hole on the bottom. But it actually, I don't think it's a feeder. It's What this does is luminates at nighttime, so this lights up. Um, so I can't wait to see that. Yeah, I thought it might have been a feeder because of the big hole at the bottom. You would just turn the hole to the top and maybe fill it. Um, but it would be very difficult to clean that out and it would get full of bees and stuff like that. So, but it does luminate at nighttime. So a hummingbird wind chime. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Lily. I love it. So I got to hang that outside. And, uh, for Glenn, she sent this... It's heavy duty, it's metal, but it's real heavy duty, really good build uh, of a keychain, an airplane keychain. I don't know if you could see that. And it just comes with this uh, uh, thing at the end uh, that you could put in your, it says it's meant to like, uh, if you put the keychain on your backpack and this can hang down. Um, but yeah. So Glenn thanks you as well, Lily. Uh, he actually, he doesn't carry keys because uh, he actually, I don't think I've ever told you, but Glenn forfeited his driver's license um, just because his legs don't work right and he would be too afraid to get behind the wheel like that. So he actually gave up his driver's license. So he actually never carries keys, <laughs> but he is going to hang this up in the trailer and um, for those of you that are newer, Glenn does fly RC airplanes. That's radio control airplanes. Um, so thank you for thinking of him, Lily. Thank you so much, and he thanks you as well. So we're going to hang that up in uh, in the trailer. 
And then when he comes in for the winter, we'll put it in his room. So, so this comes from, again, Lily. Thank you so much, Lily. I appreciate it. We appreciate it so much. I love that hummingbird wind chime. I actually have another wind chime to show you that I never showed you. I'll be right back. Okay, so earlier uh, this year, I think it was winter time, I was sent friend mail uh, with a bunch of different cardinal things. And this is one thing that I forgot to share in that friend mail because I hung it up in the room right away. Um, I didn't take it out right away, but I hung it up and I forgot to show it in friend mail. So along with that cardinal stuff is this cardinal wind chime. Absolutely beautiful. So you got the chimes there. I'm just making a mess here. <laughs> so you have all these chimes and then it has this little uh, shiny ball there. And I don't know if that illuminates too. But then at the end, there's another cardinal there. So this is absolutely beautiful. And I apologize that I didn't share this before. But uh, since I got that other wind chime, the hummingbird one, I figured I'd share this one also. So I have two chimes, wind chimes to hang up outside now. And I love to listen to wind chime. Especially like on fall days. It just, I don't know, it just takes you back to your childhood or at least for me and uh yeah i don't know it just reminds me of those halloween nights when we used the streets uh, sidewalks were filled with kids and on a windy halloween night all you heard was wind chimes in the background and it just kind of takes takes me back to that all right here is the next friend mail and look at this this comes from tracy Tracy is the one that also sent me those steel-toed shoes, uh, those cute black ones with the pink stripes that I could wear when I'm cutting grass. And I made a statement that they were too cute to get grass on. <laughs> so Tracy sent me a pair for everyday uh, use that I wouldn't have to worry about getting grass on. And I, I felt bad because I thought I made her feel like she had to send another pair, and I certainly didn't mean anything by it. Um... But these arrived, to my surprise, yesterday. Uh, same type of shoe, but they are not still told. They're just for everyday use. And are they cute and comfortable? They fit perfectly. Uh, they're gray. They're kind of like a mesh there. But look, they have a pink stripe here, which I love, with the black. And I love that the... Uh, I can never think of the word for this, uh, but this is all white, and then I've used it already, so you can see they're dirty. <laughs> so yeah, I put these shoes to use already, <laughs> but I absolutely love these. They are getting good use already, and let me tell you how this makes my life a little bit easier, and I want to thank you again, Tracy, so much. Um, so you just slip your feet in there. And the heel, by the heel here, it's curved out, so your heel just slides in there. You don't even have to bend over or sit down to put them on. You could stand up and slide your feet in there very easily. And I got them yesterday, they came, and I opened them right away, and right away I put them to use. And let me uh, just tell you how this <laughs> makes my life easier. So, as you know, Glenn is in the trailer. I'm in the house. If we're not already outside, like rainy days or whatever, cold days or whatever, and he's in the trailer all day and I'm hanging out in the house, I make a lot of trips throughout each day going in and out to the trailer. And I'm the kind of person that likes to wear socks in the house. Um... I just like to wear socks. I wear ankle high socks, not even ankle high. They, they barely show out of a shoe, um, but I wear socks in the house. So whenever I have to go out to bring them something or take, you know, go do whatever, uh, I end up having to take my socks off to put my sandals on to go out there. So it's a lot of taking one off to put another and then when I come back in I take off my sandals and put my socks on and I don't like wearing socks with my sandals so <laughs> it just makes my socks slide off uh, so it's a lot of 
yeah, taking one off to put the other one in, and then put the other one on and taking that one off. And it's a lot throughout the day. So these, I can wear my socks through the day if I'm in the house. And I can keep my socks on when I have to go out because I just slide my feet in here. And when I come back in, I slide the shoe off. And I'm still in my socks. So you have made my life easier, Tracy. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I love, they're so comfortable and they're so cute. I love these. Absolutely love these. Oh, thank you so much, Tracy. And again, I, I apologize. I didn't make you, I didn't mean to make you feel like you needed to send another pair. Um, I know you said I didn't make you feel that way, but, but yeah, I just, I feel a little, I feel bad that I might have made you feel that way. So, um, but I appreciate it so much. This, this is a game changer for me. <laughs> Isn't it funny how the, and I'm not saying this is a little thing because it's, to me, it's a big thing, but quote unquote, the little things can make such a difference in your daily life and just make it so much easier for you and be cute at the same time because <laughs> these are cute. Uh, these loops here, uh, if you're sitting down and putting them on, you could probably slide your foot on, but you can always use these to pull up to uh, slide them on still, but so far, I've just been able to slide my feet in, and it's been perfect. So thank you so much, Tracy, for these. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate the gifts, um, Tracy and Lily. I love the hummingbird feeder. It's amazing. I can't wait to see it lit up, and I'll have to take a video of that. Oh, You guys are so good to me and Glenn and our fur babies. Can't thank you enough from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you so much. All right, so that is the friend mail for today. I'm trying to keep up with friend mail as it comes in on a daily basis. So if it comes in this day, I'll record it that day. So that way it doesn't gather all up like the last time. Where, and then I had like eight or nine different friend mails to share. So I'm trying to be better at keeping up with recording right away. So... All right, so that, again, is our friend mail. And thank you again, Tracy and Lily, so much from the bottom of our hearts. All right, everyone, so it is supper time. And what I'm going to make uh, from what we have right now is I have this 20-count uh, shrimp cocktail. There's uh, cocktail sauce in the middle. Now, we usually eat this as like a snack or something. Glenn uses a cocktail sauce, and we split up the shrimp. I'll, use, I'll usually just melt some butter and dip my shrimp. But what I'm going to do today with this is make a meal out of it. So this is going to be our supper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on a cookie sheet on paper towel to pat them dry. And I'm going to have an egg wash. I'm going to dip them in the egg wash, flour, and fry them. And I've got some white rice cooking right now. So those together will make us a meal. And we can have like a, I don't know, a bowl of fruit or something. Like canned fruit or something. But we're just going to make this out of a meal from what we have. Alright, so let's get started. Alright everyone, so I have my egg wash, my flour, and the shrimp over here patted dry. So we are going to actually fry these in the electric skillet. So this will be the first time I'm like somewhat deep frying in the electric skillet. So we'll see how it goes. All right, we're just going to wait for that to warm up and then we'll re be ready to go. The rice is done already. So we just need to fry this up. Uh, we are going to actually have some canned peaches with that. And that will be our supper. Alright everyone. So I did put some cardboard on the front feet here closest to me to level it out a little bit. So I'm just putting my uh, some of my shrimp in the egg wash. Now these shrimp are not that big and uh, probably not meant for this, but 
we're going to try it anyway. <laughs> All right, so we're going to test this. Uh, the light says it's ready, so we're just going to... Yep, it's sizzling. All right. Let's get some in there and see how it goes. Like I said, they're small, so... And I did take off the, um, the tail coating or that plastic stuff that's on the tail. I'm going to try to just use one egg for the egg wash so we don't waste any more eggs. Not that we're wasting it, but you know what I mean. And I have uh, in the flour, I have seasoned salt pepper and onion powder I'm making a total mess here <laughs> And the shrimp are already cooked, so it's just a matter of the flour cooking, um, making a coating on it. So I don't know how, how well it's going to be. Try to get them more to the center where it's hotter. Yeah, it doesn't look like too much of the flour stuck to it. I'm just going to turn the heat up a little bit more. I know if it's not hot enough, the flour won't stick. So... I've got some coating on them. Just got to let them cook longer and turn up the heat. We're just going to put them on some paper towel to soak up the grease. I 
it's like uh, almost like popcorn shrimp that you get frozen at Walmart or something. All right, so that's what it looks like. It's got a pretty good coating on it. I actually uh, thought it didn't, but it does. So, all right, I'm going to fry up the rest and I'll be back. All right, everyone, so here is our supper for this Friday night. Um, flour battered uh, fried shrimp. So it actually looks just like popcorn shrimp. So I'm going to call it popcorn shrimp. Uh, white rice. I've got Kikoman soy sauce in my rice and some canned diced peaches, which we got from the food pantry. And Glenn, I already took his. He's uh, got picante sauce for his rice. And the cocktail sauce that came with the shrimp, I gave to him as well. So there is day number five from Eat From What You Have. So still going through our freezer, eating meals on day number five. All right, everyone. So I just wanted to give you a little review on how this shrimp tasted. I have to tell you, it was delicious. Uh, we weren't quite sure how it was going to come up because the shrimp was so small. But Glenn and I both agreed that this was delicious and we could have used more. So this is definitely a meal we'll cook in the future, but we might get bigger shrimp or more of the small shrimp. But the flavor was so good. Uh, we were not disappointed whatsoever. And yeah, it was really good. So, all right. And that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed day five of Eat What You Have Challenge. And thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate all of you and the support you give my channel. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself and be good to others. Until next time.